Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, it's, it's only been a day since I had my little hissy fit last night about the frustration of mounting a camera in this Forerunner. And I said I was done, I wasn't gonna do it anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Immediately after that, I started looking for different solutions and came up with one that I originally just didn't want to do. I didn't want to do anything that required me to suction cup something to the windshield because I've already got so many chips in it and all that kind of shit. And I just, I thought that that probably wouldn't be a good idea. All right, and it still isn't, but the difference is, is that I have now made the decision that I will not use my A7 IV to film inside this Forerunner. So I don't have that big heavy ass camera setup putting all that weight on the windshield or anything else because that became the problem is it was just too damn big for the way I tried to jury rig everything and it just didn't work. So now what I've done and I'm going to show you yeah, actually you know what I'm going to show you by using my S22 Ultra and I also downloaded Filmic Pro for this so now I will be shooting and controlling everything. Also I got new Samsung Buds Pros for sound and all that kind of stuff. Also, today I got in a cable that I can plug into here that then splits into two and allows me to hook up an external microphone, but also still allows me to plug into power. So I've got a solution for every problem. What I needed to do was step away from my frustration and anger yesterday to clear my mind. So I'm gonna show you what I did here on Filmic Pro. So right now, what I've done is I bought this fall cam suction cup. It's a, I think it's a, a six inch, four inch, I don't know. It's a damn suction cup. And it has this device on it that has all these different holes and all that kind of shit that allow me to screw in whatever I need to screw in. But I also then, got this fall cam magic arm and that just slides over this quick release so that I can then take it on and off as I need to but then I also and you can't see it and it's going to be really hard for me to show you but I also got a small rig magic arm and I connected that into the quick release of the fall cam magic arm and then I connected up one of my ARCA clamps to it so that I don't have to maneuver around and unscrew shit off of this device at all. And it just slides in there on that peak design plate and I can just screw that, unscrew it, take it off and be right back to where I'm going. So now it's showing you that I have this mounted upside down, but because when you flip it like that and you have the setting on, it puts it in the right, right direction. So even if I have it in there upside down, the software corrects for it and you know it's, it's doing it right side up. And that's what I came up with. So right now, I am going to take this damn thing and I'm gonna go for a ride. And I wanna see what it looks like when I'm driving, see if it comes loose. The, the weak portion of this is that small rig magic arm because I had a hard time getting it to screw in tightly, giggity, to the quick release plate of the fall cam magic arm and it just everything it makes it really difficult to do so i'm gonna just hope that everything works out for the better and because this system is so light i should be good to go with it and not have that big of a problem and it isn't taking up really any windshield space that it would have ordinarily if i had anything mounted here i can get rid of all this damn velcro clean off the damn thing and kind of be good to go and i mounted it as high up onto this stuff so that it's sort of up there now we're going to go for a quick ride and as usual i will drive through bumpy shitty parts just to see if it holds up well i mean i don't really see it being a problem it's not that heavy and i have tighten those things down really tight these suction cup things are mounted for like 138 pounds and basically you put it up against the surface which i already cleaned and then it has a little button and you push that in and it starts to suction everything so that it now not just it's not like you just spit on it and stick it up there and hope it stays kind of like the monkey the flying monkey but you get it up there and then suction 
holds it up there and then it has these two little spots that you have to push to to get the suction to let go considering it's rated for 138 pounds and i doubt this shit even weighs a pound my guess is that it should be pretty good again the weak spot is going to be the magic arm or magic arms if that's the case we'll figure it out now the way i had this mounted it's turned slightly towards me and yet because the one inch sensor is off to this side it's sort of getting enough of the interior so that like if my wife were sitting right here you know you'd get her melon in here and it doesn't have like too much of the windows on either side in here which of course then kind of blow everything out right now i'm driving into the into the setting sun so that's why my arm is all bright because it's right in the sun i think this is going to be a good solution for me and because i had decided not to use the a7 IV to film in here ever i think that my worries about having a suction cup mount are kind of out the window i now have it plugged in and the, and the cable just, I mean, it, it's ugly. It kind of just sort of hovers over there like that, but whatever. I mean, that's not what this freaking vehicle is designed for. So, and I'm not gonna buy a 50 foot long cable and run it all the way around and have it come out of the top because that's a little bit excessive. Hmm. <laughs> of course, you know, I'm gonna go get a big ass cable and permanently mount it because I'm a freaking idiot. Well, we've already been going for a ride, but now we're gonna go through the ride through the shitty construction part here. And it's gonna be very bumpy. So. We'll just say that starts now. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh. <laughs> Man, if you got motion sick easily, you would not want to drive on this road. This is churning me all over the place. Oh. But it's perfect for testing this kind of crap out. Oh, kind of interesting. I'm going to have to see if I touched something and changed the setting because there's an awful lot of that window showing and there shouldn't be. All right. I just turned into like a private area and I need to turn around. Hopefully that's going to be easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, there's a turnaround. Did you hear the jet? Huh. You know, with okay, now I just watched this. This this is strange. As I turned the corner, more of the window disappeared. Or I didn't turn the corner, I just sort of turned around. Maybe it's because of the OIS or whatever. So yeah, see there most of the window's gone now. And I think as I start driving, it might put a little bit more of it back in. Okay. Cool, I guess. Ooh. Yeah, see, now more, way more windows showing because I took a curve. Oh, okay, note to self, don't go this way unless you're testing something. Holy shit. Oh. All right, I, I, th I think this is a, a keeper here. We're, we're not having any issues. I, this did not shift at all. It doesn't look like it's, it's coming loose, although I will have to check it from time to time to make sure that it's not coming loose. Okay, so I, I think that this is gonna work just fine. You're gonna have to deal with the fact that I'm using an Insta360 RS, not a Sony a7 IV with a G Master lens. I'm gonna have to loosen some of these things up that, that are on this whole setup for, for the actual Insta360 RS so that it's not so gorilla tightened that I can't move it because then, then I'm gonna start when I'm trying to, to loosen, not loosen it, when I'm trying to move it with it being so tight, I'm gonna end up like jacking up those magic arms and that will be an issue. And I don't wanna do that. All right, kids, there you have it. We just went for a ride. We went through the usual testing spot of construction that was pretty jarring. I think it looks pretty good. I am pretty impressed and kind of weirded out when I realized that the, the footage was actually, kind of, I wanna say floating because of what I was looking at on the little screen here. But overall, I think that, again, once I calmed down and really thought about it, then now that I've decided not to use the a7 IV for filming inside this vehicle, it was a perfect solution for me to, to get this. Now, this Falcam suction mount is not inexpensive, meaning you're not going to go and buy this setup for 20 bucks on Amazon. You could, but you're going to get a $20 Amazon piece of shit, and it's not going to work. The suction cup itself was 100 bucks. 
the magic arm was another 80. I'm using a second magic arm, an Arca clamp. So this all probably runs up around three or $400. Now, granted, I didn't have to buy the small rig magic arm because I already had one in the magical drawers. I didn't have to buy the Arca clamp because I bought like 10 of those damn things. You know, so, you know, I didn't spend all that money at once. All I did was buy the suction mount and the magic arm that goes with it. And well worth it to get the, the magic arm that goes with this thing because then it mounts on there and I didn't have to try screwing something else in and all that kind of stuff. And for right now, because this is all set up, I'm not touching it, I think I'm good to go. So that's kind of, uh, I'm gonna take it as a win. And it works, and now you get to see me blather on in a Forerunner again. I know I said I wasn't gonna do it, but in all likelihood, I'm probably gonna find a cable that I can wrap around and bring up over the headliner and come down off the top here and run with it because it'll just make it that much more convenient. So that's it. Calm a monkey and fed monkey is a happy monkey is now good to go with the way all this shit works. And I wanna know what you think. How's it look? How's it sound? Did you see a lot of jittering? Did you notice how everything was sort of floating it seemed? Um, and that was all software because it's not the fact that this thing was actually moving that much. Let me know what you think. So, all right, that's it. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, calmly forward and up.